God bless you. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Landmark Church of Holiness through Christ Outreach Ministry, located at 1523 West Washington Street in South Bend, Indiana, where we preach the gospel without compromise, the unadulterated, unmixed, true gospel of deliverance, reaching out to a dying world, letting you know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Set your heart, your mind, your ears to receive this man of God who will show you the way to eternal life. Receive ye him, our pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. God bless you. you to watch us every Sunday afternoon on Facebook Live at 1.30 p.m. on the page of Bishop Thomas H. Willis Jr. and to listen to our evening service every Sunday on WUBS 89.7 at 6.30 p.m. Pacific o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time in South Bend, Indiana. We also have a Sunday School Conference call line every Saturday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time taught by Evangelist Beverly Willis. The telephone number is 605-313-5142, and the access code is 388-999-POUND. If you are not able to tune in at this time, you can call the playback number, which is 605-313-5153, using the same access code. If you carry your charges for this line, please hang up and dial 716-293-9720, and then redial the 605 number and the access code. We are so happy to be able to share what God has put in our hearts and mind that you may be able to be blessed of God and strengthened in holiness. Now we will have prayer from Evangelist Beverly Willis. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you this day giving you thanks and praise and glory and honor for being who you are, oh God, and for all the things that you have done for us. We ask, God, that you would bless in this service on today. Move by your power and your yeah. spirit, God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way today, God, in the name of Jesus. Let your word go forth with power and anointing, oh God pricking the hearts of the sinners, oh God, encouraging those that are saved, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we pray that you would heal, deliver, set free, open doors, make ways, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that, that your people might be able to know you even the more and to desire to live for you in the name of Jesus. God, we ask that you bless the speaker on today, God, in the name of Jesus, God, word is mouth, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, let him speak with both boldness, oh God. Lord, let him speak, oh God, the unadulterated gospel, God, in the name of Jesus, God, and we'll give you all the glory, honor, and praise for all that you do for us in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Amen. Now we will have scripture from Sister Tierra Fraser. Amen. God bless everyone. I'll be reading for your hearing Jude, verse 20 through 25. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And of some have compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. 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 I did hear, read for your hearing, Jude, verse 20 through 25. May God add a blessing to those that hear, receive, and obey his word. Amen. 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 And now we will have words coming from our own pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. Let's say amen, amen for him. Amen. Help me out of my journey. 
it with me, sing it with me. that can take us through our tests and our trials and our persecutions and can lift up our spirit. Amen? Amen. 
Amen and amen. We got to learn how to give God the glory and the honor and the praise for everything that he has done or, or is doing for us. Amen? Amen, amen. amen. I don't know nobody that say that don't need help from God. Oh, right, uh, Y'all better come amen. on with me now. All of us need help from God. Yes. And then all of us need to I need God to save us, which means deliver us. Yes, amen. Deliver us. Not amen. That we've been delivered from sin, but sometimes we need to be delivered from the hands of the enemy. All right. Amen. All They're right. messing with our mind. Yes, well, Y'all better yes, come on yes, with me now. Yes, yes. Amen. Well, amen. I'm saved already. You saved to be saved. Come on now. Oh, come on with me now. Amen. 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 But God is still saving. Yes, he God's is. still delivering. Yes, he God's is. still setting free. Amen. God's still opening up doors. God's still making ways out of no way. Amen, 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 amen. Now, y'all know I'm ready to have some church. Amen. Now, if you didn't eat too much and you didn't got sluggish, amen, that ain't me, but amen, get in on the service. Amen. But God is good, and he is worthy of the praise. Amen. And I pray that every day. God, help me. Keep me. Preserve me. Because like I said, he's the only one that can preserve you from your enemies. Amen. Amen. And the worst enemy that we have is who? Who's the next one? Yourself. Amen. Sometimes self get in the way. Amen. And sometimes you have to tell flesh, sit down, flesh. Come on now, bring that flesh under subjection to the spirit of God. Y'all know I'm right. Amen. Amen. Because flesh sometimes want to act up. And sometimes flesh do act up. But that's what you got to rebuke the devil. Amen. amen. Peace be still. Amen. 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 Because you know what? I want to make it. I want to make it. When Christ come, I want to make it. You want to make it? Say, I want to make it. Amen. I got to make it, y'all. Every time you hear me get up, I'm going to say, we got to make it. Amen. This is not something that we should take lightly when it comes down to our spirit and soul. Because people are dying every day. You go on Facebook, all you see is this one died, and this one died, and that one died, and this one died. And that doesn't mean that death going to pass over you every all the time. Amen. But be ye ready, because you know not the day or the hour or the time that your time comes where you have to stand before death. Amen. But be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready. Yeah, I can't overemphasize that enough. People just take God so lightly and take their life so lightly, amen, that they don't even think about it until after they get in trouble. Then they want God. Then they want God to help me. Hey, but you know what? God will talk back to you. Where were you when I wanted you? Oh, y'all better come on with it now. He, he'll talk back with you. He'll talk back to you. Where were you? Hey, like he did, Joe. Where were you, Joe? <laughs> You say, where were you when I tried to call you? And I sent the word and you didn't you didn't receive it. You didn't take it. Now nah. you say he'll mock you when your calamity comes. He'll mock you. God will tease you, mock you. But then it's too late. Amen. One more time coming into the house of God to worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. We are a church that believe in crying loud and sparing not and lifting up amen, our voices like a trumpet. Because God holds us responsible if we don't preach his word. And we got to preach it regardless of people like it or don't like it. Amen. Amen. It's not about what people like. It's what God wants. Yes. And that's what you got to learn, too. You got to live this life the way God wants you to live it, Amen. not the way people want you to live. Amen. You know, don't you think you ought to be doing so-and-so? No, I think I ought to be doing what God wants me to do. Yes. And that's to live holy. Amen. Because sometimes people come up with their own ideas. And so in my church, you know, we do this. And, and in my church, we do that. You, Amen. I'm not in your church. I'm in God's church. Amen. Y'all come on with me now. Amen. Because sometimes, look, let me just say this. Salvation is not in the building. It is in God. We are the church. We are the, we are the temple of God. Oh, hallelujah, God. God's spirit is supposed to what? Dwell within what? In us. Amen. 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 But we got to be living epistles. Do you hear what I'm saying? We got to live this life so the world can see. Amen. What God expects of us as sanctified folks. 
Amen. I got a little something, something for you today, and I want you to pray for me because this is something I ain't going to say it's hard, but it might be taken harshly. But I want you to understand where I'm coming from. Because we can always preach, God can make it, you can make it, you can take it, you can go through. You know, you, you need to do this. But sometimes God will flip the script and have you come another way. I woke up one, of the, one morning and I heard the word. Demon possession. I want to talk about demon possession. And this is not something that we should take lightly. As I was saying earlier. Because there are people out there right now are possessed with demons. And want to be free. But can't be free. Some of them, would, some of them are demon possessed because they play in church. They plan like they love God. They come in like if they ask God's people. But when they go out of the temple of God or out of the church of God, they're doing what they want to do. And don't you know that when you are like that in the church, you're open for the devil to come in with a lot of spirits. I'm just telling you what's true. Because I came up in a church where demons had to be cast out. And demons would take people up and throw them down in the floor. They would be foaming at the mouth. And this is not something you see on TV. This is not something that's being made up. This is something that's real. Do you hear what I'm saying? That's why I, keep, that's why I can't overemphasize this. Be for real when it comes down to God. Don't play church. Let me tell you this. And don't backslide neither. Because once you backslide... That keeps God from, what, surrounding you or, or be protecting you. You lose his protection. Oh, Y'all better hear me now. You know why? Because you turn your soul, your body, and your mind over to the devil. So now you under the devil's control. So God, amen, no longer protects you unless you under his mercy. Because everybody is not demon possessed. And so you cannot say, no, that ain't going to happen to me. There's a lot of people thought it wasn't going to happen to them. Right. Amen. But it happened. Amen. It happened to young people. It happened to middle-aged folks. It happened to old, come on now, older folks. Amen. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to warn you. Amen. Don't play with God. Amen. You'll wake up one morning demon-possessed. Amen. Amen. And don't have control over yourself, what you do or how you do. And how you react, amen, demons and devils will come into your, into your spirit, into your, into your, what, body. Yes, amen, amen. And take control. Yes, it will. I'm telling you this because God wants you to know. Demon possession is not a play thing. Some people be, get demon possessed because they're playing around with witchcraft. Let me just read this to you. Demon possession, and this usually happens to those who practice witchcraft, those who become familiar with cults, and those who practice it. Those who are not prayerful or serious about serving God. Demon possession can come in a, in a, re, a person with a disobedient and rebellious spirit. Y'all better hear me now. Disobedient and rebellious towards God and are not protected. Those are, I said it earlier, they are not protected by God. You know, he told one time, I think uh, it was Samuel that told Saul, rebellious is as witchcraft. It's evil. To study witchcraft is evil. You know, sometimes we sit up and we look at all these, uh, all these demon possession stuff on TV. And you, Connell, don't you know some of that stuff can get off into you? Oh, y'all better come on. You may not believe it. But there have been people that have ran to the church because they knew they had been possessed with something. And they needed somebody with power and anointed to cast the devil out. Do you want to get into that place or in that situation where you be possessed by devil? 
Sometimes you don't be possessed by the devil himself, but he got demons. Sometimes he have one demon. Sometimes he have two. Sometimes people have two demons. And sometimes and they have names too. Oh, yeah. I remember Bishop saying one time, say, say, come on out, devil. He said, my name is Adolf. He asked him what's his name. He said, my name is Adolf. All right. And you know what? When you see people like that, you got to be prayerful. Especially in the church, when you see people that are, that are demon possessed, don't, 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 don't try to be, try to make you know. I'm gonna show them that I got some power because if you ain't got no power, if you carnal, don't lay hands because that spirit will get off into you. Next thing you know, you acting crazy. Can I keep going? Playing church and acting like they're saved. Those who make fun of God's people. And his church. I'm telling you what, what that makes you open for the devil. Yes, you already have the spirit of sin in you when you're not saved. Amen. Am I right about it? Yes. But there's some extra things that can happen to you, not just the spirit of sin. Amen. But like I said, demon possession. Mm -hmm. Smiling. Throwing yourself in the floor. We got one in the Bible where they threw itself in the fire. We're going to read that. Let you know this is real, y'all. This is real. You know, when I got to see that, why you want to see that? If you ain't, amen, if you ain't protected by God, you don't want to see that. All right now, amen. Amen. Those who make fun of God's people in his churches, which causes them to be open for spirits and demonic possession, who are unaware of the consequences of serving what? sin and worshiping the devil we got people that are in this world that are worshiping the devil they bowing down to the devil and let me just tell y'all something if you know somebody that's like that get away from them with familiar spirits get away from them that's studying witchcraft get away from them i'm telling you protect yourself from that enemy that devil They'll say, I don't know how I got it. I don't know how I got it. It's who you associate yourself with. Right. Oh, y'all better hear me now. Amen. Mr. Tony, this is not going to be always, this ain't going to be good, accepted very well. Don't turn it off because this is for you, for you to know. This is from God, demon possession. And don't you know what? God sometimes, God will allow these things to happen because of your disobedience. He will allow it. Like I said about, about Saul, Saul, he gave Saul, he admitted, he, well, he allowed the evil spirit to come into Saul. Amen. God allow it. If you were disobedient, he told his people, if you were disobedient, I would touch you with this and I would touch you with that. Amen. He would touch you with affliction. He will allow it to come. That's, that's a bad God. No, that's a real God. That's a just God. That's why it's good to obey God. Ooh, I feel that in my spirit. Don't play church. I'm, I'm just looking at everybody. You know, Don't play church. Be real. Come on now. Don't let your mind be weak. The, the devil also come in a weak-minded person. Weak-minded in God. It ain't time to be weak in God. The devil is on the move. The devil is whacking worse and worse. Where you want to go? We had a brother one time, a long time ago, when I was younger, an apostle Mitchell, brother came in there laughing and giggling. <laughs> he said, brother, what's wrong? I said, I don't know. He was just giggling, but he knew it was the devil. He knew it was the devil in him. And he asked, do you want me to pray for you? He said, no, I like the way the devil makes me feel. He didn't even want to be delivered. You can't make people be delivered if they don't want to be delivered. Do you hear what I'm saying? But I have seen him cast devils out. Of people, people like I said, foaming at the mouth. When the devil comes out, and sometimes he leaves a scar. This is real. This ain't 
This ain't, this ain't television. I'm still saying this ain't television. This is something we saw that is real. Personally, real. And I never talked on demon possession before. But God put it in my spirit about two weeks ago. And I said, God, I wanted to get it together. And I wanted to get it together rightly so somebody could be warned. You don't have to be possessed. You're already possessed by sin. The spirit of sin is already in you if you're not saved. But why do you want to escalate it to another level when it comes down to demons and devils? And sometimes people will think, sometimes people will laugh at you because they don't know that you're possessed by the devil. They'll laugh at you and think you say, oh man, he's just high. Sometimes it's the devil that's been pos that's possessed that person's body. Well, come on, God. Somebody needs some help. Somebody right now that's possessed needs some help. Needs some deliverance. They didn't play it around with God too much. They disobedient to God too much. They carnal, they carnality too much. Oh, God. Do you know if you are not saved or playing church that you are open for the devil and evil spirits to take control? You make fun of some of these things that you see on TV. But some of those things you see on TV actually happens in real life. Now, I ain't talking about twisting the head all the way around and stuff like that. That's, that's taking a, above. And to me, it don't be funny. Looking at demon possession is not funny. It's real. If you just knew how real it was, you would turn the channel. Do you know if you are not saved or playing church that you are open for the devil and the spirits to take control? Do you know that it is God's grace that he does not let the enemy, Satan, completely take control Amen. over you? Amen. You under God's mercy. That's right. I'm talking about those that's not saved. You under God's mercy. Yes, yes. Especially those that used to be saved. You under God's mercy. Amen. I've had him, I have I have seen a brother, I've heard a brother that I have known a long time, used to be saved, and that brother could sing so well. The next time I saw him, he was telling people he was God. That was a spirit that took control. Can't nobody hurt me because I'm God. A couple of months later, he died. I thought God, I thought he was God. Listen to me, y'all. I'm saying it again. Don't play with God. Don't play with God. And don't play with the devil. The devil is real. You know how sometimes people walk around and say, the devil made me do it and laughing. <laughs> the devil made me do it. You don't, you don't. No, you working on, you, you walking on thin ice. Because if the devil really wanted to, really got a hold of you, oh, you be asking for deliverance. You be asking God, God help me to set me free. Oh, y'all better come on now. He'll have you doing like Jeremiah, going out there eating grass like an ox. Like an animal. Was that an ox? Nebuchadnezzar, I'm sorry. Nebuchadnezzar. But he was warned. By the man of God. Daniel warned him. He got too proud. He, he got lifted up in pride and God trying to tell him what to do. But he said, no, if you don't obey, he warned him. If you don't obey, I'll send you out there. You'll lose your throne. For seven years, he was out there eating grass like an ox. Nails just as long. Don't play with God, y'all. Don't play with God. You don't want nobody to rock what. You know, drive by and say, man, you know what? He used to be saved. She used to be saved. He used to be in church. I remember when he was a preacher. I remember this. I, I'm talking to all of us. I ain't just talking to the, the, the I'm talking about all of us. I'm talking to all of us. I ain't got to worry about possession if I'm doing right. If I'm not carnal, if I'm not walking, if I'm walking right. 
Why do I got to be scared? Because God will give you power to rebuke the devil. You cover. You ain't got no power. Let me name some of these evil spirits that can take control. Do you hear what I'm saying? One of them is a mean and hateful spirit. You can be possessed with a mean and hateful spirit. Hateful, just, you know, that spirit of hate. You don't care who they are, what, what they do, what they do. I just hate them. Spirit of hate. Mean. People hate to be around you because you're so mean. Can't get along with them. That's a spirit. I'm just telling you what God gave me. You fit that category, you better ask God to deliver you. Always growling, always, you know, cursing somebody else. Always, you know, just mean. Can't nobody get along with you. On your job, can't nobody get along with you. You're getting fired because you're mean. It's a spirit. I can't help myself. I just, I just, it's just something just raise and, and rise up in me. That's the devil. Uh-oh. Hate everybody. They don't care what color they are. They just hate folks, period. Think they're the only one in this world. Then we got another spirit that can take control. Suicide. Suicide spirit. The devil will tell you, you ain't got no more hope. You ain't got, amen, he got you thinking that's it. Go on to take your life. That's a suicide spirit talking to you. If, you ain't un- if you're not under God's protection, you can get anything. That's right. Amen. Amen. What? There have been people that died and committed suicide. and we. The last time I talked to them, they sounded, they looked like they were okay. But don't you know the devil work on you? Yeah. The devil works on you. Amen. He takes his time to work on you. He works on your mind. He works on your spirit. Yeah. Until he takes control with that suicide. Okay, I'm going to give in. I'm tired of life. The devil wants you dead anyway. He wants all of us dead. Why give him the pleasure? Why give him the pleasure? He that destroyed the temple of God shall be destroyed. No, you ain't. You know what? I think that's what that's when your problem really begins when you kill yourself. Right. Now you're in torment forever and ever. Amen. Can I keep talking? Yeah. Another spirit is a lunatic. Look up that word lunatic. A mentally ill person. Something wrong with them mentally. A person affected with severely disordered state of mind. Don't you know the devil can do that to you? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take what I'm saying lightly. Go ahead. Lunatic spirit. Still, people take light of those, those things. And we ought to be praying for people that are in a state like that. Am I right about it? But they got to want God to get, they got to want God to deliver them from that. Like I told you, that brother said, no, I want to, I like the way he makes me feel. He makes me laugh. And he walked out of the church not being delivered as far as he's concerned. Because the devil makes him laugh. You know the devil will make you feel good? He will make you feel good. But then, there are hope for some. Some, there is no hope. Some of them end up in the silence and stuff like that. Some of them possessed in some of these silence. Am I saying that right? I don't care what the doctor give them, what kind of stuff they give them to kind of calm them down. That don't stop them from being possessed. It kind of calms them down, slow them down so they won't be so gun ho in it. 
But you, they need deliverance. The people right now need to be delivered that's in asylums and stuff like that. Psycho wards. Sometimes it's the devil that took control. Choose you this, that. Who you going to serve? Now you going to serve the devil? Somebody that don't like you or, or hate you? Uh-oh. We already know about the sinful spirit, right? Then we got some with the rebellious spirit. That rebellious spirit is always rebellious. I don't care what nobody say. I ain't doing nothing. I'm going to do what I want to do. You can get a spirit of rebellious. God warned Saul through Samuel. Two times in the disobeyed, God well, had mercy on him and sent him out and told him what to do. And he disobeyed. And then on top of that, tried to make an excuse for disobeying. But the people, see, you will go to hell for the people. Some people will go to hell because of trying to satisfy the people. And then you know what? Them same people will look at you and say, uh-uh. Like I said earlier, he was a man of God. He was saved. He used to witness to me. She used to witness to me about salvation. But what happened? Since the last time you seen her or him, <laughs> he was all right. But you don't know how people's lifestyle is after they leave you or come up, you know, not around you. You understand what I'm saying? But God knows. Rebellious spirits, demonic spirits. Some people got lying spirits. I mean, lying. I mean, they lie, and they don't even have to lie, and they lie. They lies are lies. You remember my bitch used to say that? They lies are lies. They, they just have a spirit of lying. They just can't tell the truth about nothing. What do you call that? A, a bitch? A bitch or a liar. Just lie. Okay, you ain't got to lie. You grow, but just lie. Devil just got you lying, just got you not telling the truth. This is real. Then you got this spirit, mutilating spirit. Whoo, that's another spirit where people like to cut themselves and hurt themselves and damage themselves. Causing damage to oneself, like cutting oneself to disfigure yourself. You can't say what the devil ain't going to make you do, and you ain't got no power. You ain't got God in your life. You ain't got the Holy Ghost in your life. You can't say the devil can't take control. I'm talking to somebody. Why make them do that? It's a spirit. Sometimes they have to, what is that? Put that, put them in a jacket, straight jacket. Keep them from hurting themselves, killing themselves. That's the enemy. That's the devil. Then took control. That ain't nothing to laugh about. These are people that are working, walking down here on the earth that is in the earth that has been Demon possessed. Because you don't understand it. You take it lightly. But one thing we have to see, when we see people like that, we got to thank God that we still got our right minds. That we still walking according to the way God wants us to walk. What you complaining for? That mutilating spirit. Then you got people with a spirit of bitterness. Just bitter. That goes along with hate, too. Just bitter. Bitter about everything. Fuss about everything. Bitterness in their hearts and in their mind. Now, there are some people that can be bitter sometimes, but they don't have the spirit of bitterness. Because when you got a spirit of something, that means it is greater than just, it's larger than, it's, it's more serious than. you going to do? 
Bitterness is a feeling of deep and bitter anger and ill will, just bitterly angry, just angry. I don't know what I'm angry for. I'm just angry. Ill will, angry all the time for no reason. I'm just mad. I'm just, I'm just, that's a spirit. A feeling that everyone is against you. A feeling. Don't nobody like me. Don't nobody. It's the devil got you feeling that way. It's the devil got you talking like that. Demonic is a characteristic of demons. I'm giving you the definition. Demonic is characteristics of demons or evil spirits possessed or influenced by a demon or, de or, or de demon or demons that has come into that person's body. Takes, cold, takes control of his spirit and his soul. I still say it's a dangerous thing to, to mess around with witchcraft and familiar spirits. That comes with demon possession. I don't care how much money you make, how much money you make, they make, amen, they try to tell your future, try to tell you, and this and that. That's demonic. Mutilate is to inflict a violent and disfiguring injury on, to cut up or alter, radic or alter radically so as to make imperfect. Necromancer, necromancer is a word that means the practice of supposing communication with the spirit. Sometimes they want to get, they get into a dark place and they want to communicate with the devil. You end up with a spirit. Sometimes you go into these places. You, I want to, I want to talk to my mother. I want to talk to my sister. I want to talk. That's demonic. And don't you know the devil can bring up spirits? Oh, y'all don't hear me. When Saul went to the, to the witch, I think it was. And he asked to see Saul because he was dead. He was gone. Here he was getting ready to face war, and he was so afraid that he was going to lose the war, so he wanted to talk to Saul. Saul had all the, no, he did. He had all the witches and, and all the familiar people to be killed, but only one stayed alive, and he went to her. He did not tell her who he, she, who he wanted to see. But when she found out that it was Saul, she said, look what you made me do. I wasn't supposed to do this. I wasn't supposed to bring up. Don't you know the devil can work? Not miracles like God can. But he can bring things up where you can see things. Oh, Y'all don't hear me. You can hear things. I hear something. I saw something. It's the enemy. Oh, you can take it lightly. Go ahead, laugh, laugh, laugh at me, laugh. But I hope it don't get over on you. I pray that you don't allow it to get on you. You got to get away from these occults. Getting together, gathering together. The occult is a category of supernatural beliefs and practices encompassing such phenomena as those involved in mysticism, spirituality, y'all hear that? And magic in terms of otherworldly agency. I've got this out the book. It can also refer to other non-religious supernatural ideas like extrasensory perception. 
and parapsychology. You can't mess with the devil. I'm telling you. Evil spirits are an evil supernatural being. That's what an evil spirit is. An evil supernatural being. This is real. A devil or demons. Seducing means to persuade to disobedience or disloyalty. Don't you know the devil, when you disobey God and when you disobey what the words say, you could be seduced by the devil. He will take control. Just this little bit here is the message. What you going to do? Stay safe, saints. I'm telling you, stay safe. Stay in the will of God. Stay protected by God. Don't jump out of God for the world. You jumping out of God's protection. And those that are not under God's protection need to get in God so they can be protected from the devil. These things are real. All this stuff you see on TV, all these devils and demons you see on TV, and you sitting up there enjoying that, and entertaining that, that could be, that could be, that, that's real. Amen. Whether you believe it or not, it's real. Amen. You can't play with stuff like that. I'm going to go to one scripture here. I feel it. I feel this. I ask God, I said, God, you got to help me with this. I've never brought a message like this before. Deuteronomy 18, 9 through 12. What did it say? When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. Now see, God was warning his people. Man. Israel, after he brought them out of bondage. Yes. He was warning them through Moses. When thou art coming to the land of the Lord thy God that giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abomination. Of, don't look at the other nation. Amen. Regardless of what they're doing, I don't want you to do it. Amen. Regardless of what other churches are doing, what other people are doing and how they're doing it, God don't want us to do it. Amen. Go ahead. There shall not be found among you Anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. Offering up his son and daughter to an idol. Come on now. Or that uses divination. Or use divination. Let me read that. Did I read that? Divination is to foresee, to foretell, to predict. To prophesy, we relate it to divineness or divine. It's not God. Amen. Uh huh. Or an observer or of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. See that? I want you to stay away from all that stuff. Amen. Amen. He was trying to protect them. Yes. He was trying to protect you from all this mess that Amen. these other nations are getting off into. Yes. Because I don't want you to have that spirit. Right. Amen. Amen. That's why God stopped us, amen, amen, from hanging around folks, amen, that's not protected. That's right. That in these kind of things, stay away from them. Amen. When thou art coming to the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of these nations. What do you want to look into amen. something deep that God don't want you to look into something? Come on now. Why? Come on, come on. There should not be found among you anyone that maketh his son and his daughter to pass through the fire or use a divination, divination or observer of what? Times. Nice. Or enchanter. Or a witch. It's mm -hmm. in the Bible. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Amen. I know somebody can talk to you and let you know. They can tell you and connect you with your dad, connect you with your father. He can tell you what your future is. Don't you know the devil can tell you? He can also tell you where you've been. Mm -hmm. 
People seek after that. You know, people that made uh, money off of that. Telephone calls. They, what they call that? Fortune teller, but they call them something else. Psychics. Psychics. They made some good money off of that. Amen. All they had to do was just say some things that they really know it happened, and they got them caught. And some of them are demon possessed themselves. Y'all just don't hear me. Some of the people that y'all talking to on the phone is demon possessed themselves. Or a charmer. This is in the Bible, y'all. Yes, it is. That's Deuteronomy 18, 9 through 12. Amen. This is not just for saints. This is for the sinners to know. Amen. Or a charmer or a consultant with familiar spirit. I want to consult. I want to see my mother. I want to see my father. I ain't, I ain't seen my, I ain't heard from him. Why you want to hear from him? Why? Because I feel like if my mom, you know, if, my, if I could see my mom, she could talk to me and tell me what to do. Talk to God! Amen. The Bible said the dead know if not anything. That's right. Amen. But the living know that they should die. Mm -hmm. But once you dead, they ain't coming back. No, they're not. No, they're they not. not coming back to talk to you. That's no. a devil. Yes, it is. Yes, it That's is. That's a demon. Yes, it is. Come on now. Come on. I talked to my mother the other day. And she told me, keep on going, girl. Because doing what you're going to do, you're going to make it. That's the devil. Amen. God ain't got nobody coming back from the grave in That's the spirit right. talking That's to you. Right. That's the devil. Amen. I don't care if you don't never like it. It's the devil. It's the devil. Amen. What's that 12 verse say? For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. Uh -huh. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. He drove them. He drove them kind of people out. Yes. Amen. Those amen. people run it. It's amazing how church folks run to necromancy and witchcraft and psychology. You supposed to be saved? You supposed to be a Christian and you run into I need somebody to tell me my what I'm you know, read my palm. You know who can read you? What is it's God. Amen. God knows everything about yes, you. Why you need somebody else to read your palm? Come on now. Oh, I see the line. Oh, I'm telling. I know I'm talking, boy. Yes, you are. I Come see, on, I see the line. See, this line here represents, and this line here, oh, oh, this line here represents richness. I see riches coming into your life. That's the devil trying to trick you, boy. Come on. <laughs> Looking at the lines in your hand. Yes. That's the time you ought to get up, get out of there, because it ain't made you rich yet. All right. Them lines in your hand didn't make you rich yet. All right now. You still poor. God, I'm going, I'm going the way you got me going. Leviticus 19, 31. Amen. This is God wanted his people. He laid down his rules for them to ignore. Don't be like the other nations. I'm saying the same thing now. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Don't want to be like the world. God got everything you need, everything you want. God's got it. Amen. And just because you have to, sometimes just because you have to wait on God, you're going to go to another, you're going to go to a, a familiar spirit. Somebody's going to tell you your future. The devil is alive. Amen. You're going to push God aside. Come on. Oh, boy, you're in trouble with God. Amen. Leviticus 19.31, what did it say? Regard not them that have familiar spirits. Regard. Don't even have no interest in them. Don't even yes, listen to amen, them. Don't amen. even take what they say. Amen. Man, it sounds so true. 
Don't you know the devil can be convincing? Mm -hmm. These spirits can be convincing. Yes, yes, they can. Man. What did it say? Come on, Evangelist. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, uh -huh. neither seek after wizards uh -huh. to be defiled by them. It said to be defiled. It didn't say to be blessed. Right. It said be defiled. Now. Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing good about it. That's right. Amen. You only defiling your temple. Yes, amen. This here that God amen. made. Holy. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. This is just part one. I got, I got, <laughs> whoo. I said, God, I'm going to just put it in the way that you want me to put it. And Amen. I'm going to put it out there. Whether they receive it or whether they don't receive it. And I'm hoping a lot of them see it. Some of them on that road right now. Paying money, just paying money, just paying money, just to hear what somebody else has to say when you can talk to God for free. All you have to do is be God's child. Amen. And then you know what? He has mercy even on the sinners. Yes, he does. Everybody ain't crazy. That's not say. But don't you know that God's mercy reaches out even to the sinner? Because he yes. would that no man should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Amen. Amen. He ain't allow the devil to take, take everybody and put him, make them crazy. Right. Lunatics. But some of them God used. For an example, I like that word, example. Mm -hmm. This will happen to you when you step on the wrong territory, mm -hmm. when you're fooling around with the devil. This will happen to you. And some people think, well, that can't happen to me because I'm just too strong in mind. Mm. There are some people that were strong in mind crazy today. Amen. Minister. Leviticus 20, 1 through 6. I'm just, I, come on, actually, I'm giving amen, you the word. Amen. You want to know, is that in the word? That's in the Bible. Yes, it is. Go ahead. Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, go, go whosoever he be of the children of Israel or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel that giveth any of his seed to Molech, he shall surely be put to death. Oh, come on The now. people of the land shall stone him with stones. Okay. And I will set my face against that man and will cut him off from among his people. God hates because idols. Amen. Idol worshipers. Get those idols out of your house. Amen. You're supposed to be sanctified. Get those idols. Amen. 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 I don't care if it's Mary. Come on. If, it's, if you bow down to an idol... That may like that ain't Mary. No, it's not. No, it's not. And you do a hell Mary before the come I on, oh y'all better come on now. Come on. Thou shalt not make no other God before me. That's it. Amen. I don't Amen. care. Don't you know the devil will trick you when I'm I'm bound down to the angel. Come on. Got the angel there, and you bound down to the angel. No, 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 no. the devil is a lie. That's on, another trick. It. Yes, it is. They're going to make it all right because, you know, they say this is Mary, this is Joseph, this is God, and you bowing down to those Amen. pictures and bowing down to those. Get that stuff out of you. Amen. You don't need that, man. Talk to God. Yes, yes. Amen. Lift your, lift your head towards God, yes. not towards Hallelujah. that idol. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Somebody Amen. don't like me. Well, I thought it was all right. Some people have Mary sitting up there on, on the front dashboard of their car. And she rocking like that as the car going along. Get in an accident and die. What did Mary do? Oh, it's quiet. Why did an idol help you stay, stay alive? Some of them kiss it. That's the trick of the enemy. The devil wants you to get your mind. He don't care how you, how you get your mind. He wants to get your mind off, you know, because sometimes when things look evil, you don't want it demonic, you know. But, hey, hey this is the angel. This is the angel. I hope I'm talking to somebody. Come on, come on, come on now. Some of y'all need to tear them idols up, them angels and whatnot. They can't do nothing for you. Amen. What you got in your house? Well, I thought they looked so pretty. 
Don't you know the the the, the, the sinners made that? Mm -hmm. Standing up there, this is Mary. That ain't Mary. Come on now. That don't even look like Mary. I'm just using it because that's mostly what they Mary, Jesus, whoever the case may be, Paul, whoever. They made an idol out of yes, them. Yes, yes, amen, amen. And he told them, don't make no other God before me. Come on now. I'm your God. Yes, amen. Don't make no other God. Well, I didn't make it. You bought it. Come on. Oh. Come on, amen. You're right. God, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Go ahead. And I will set my face against that man. I will set my face against him. God will be against you. Mm -hmm. You want God to work in your behalf. Go ahead. And will cut him off from among his people. Y'all hear that? The person that do that, he'll cut you off. Mm -hmm. God will cut you off. Yes, yes, amen. But he said, I'll have no other God before me. You see what happened to the people of God when they made that, that idol, that calf. A lot of them were killed. Amen. He told them before they even went up there, thou should not make no other God. You know, that's what I'm saying about rebelliousness. It'll cause you to go to hell. It'll cause you to lose your life. Uh-huh. And I will set my face against that man and will cut him off from among his people because he had given of his seed unto Molech to defile my sanctuary and to profane my holy name. Yeah. And if the people of the land do anyways hide their eyes from the man when he giveth of his seed unto Molech and kill him not, then I will set my face against that man and against his family and will cut him off and all that go a whoring after him to commit whoredom with Molech from among their people. Hey, baby, you and hear this? Mm. Sometimes what you do can affect your family. Yes. Amen. Did, did you hear this? No doubt about it. Then I will set my face against that man and against his family. Yes. Because if they're doing the same thing, he's going to be against them too. Amen. And you wonder why your family is not blessed. Because you're idol worshippers. You're seeking after devils instead of after God. Don't you know God has cursed families because of their evilness? Mm -hmm. Y'all better come on Amen. with me now. You're right about it. God will curse the whole house because all of them is evil towards God. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be in that category? No, sir. Sometimes you got to get up out of some of these idolatry houses. Sometimes mm -hmm. you got to get up. And when you see your family, what my family doing, and I'm just saying, sometimes you need to get up, That's get right. your own That's house. Right. That's right. Get your own apartment. Amen. Because I ain't going to be around this kind of stuff. See? Oh, y'all better hear me now. Mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about nobody. I don't know nobody who's doing that. But God do. He, does. he just put it in my spirit. Mm -hmm. Some of these folks don't know they're gonna be you could be possessed with evil spirits. Uh-huh. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits, mm -hmm. and after wizards, to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. I had to cut you off. Now I want to show you some examples on certain things. Matthew 4.24, what did, what did Matthew 4.24 say? And Jesus went about all Galilee, mm -hmm. teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Uh -huh. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases listen and this torments. Now. Listen at this now. 24th verse. Take it kind of slow, but read it loud. 
And his fame went throughout all Syria. Uh -huh. And they brought unto him all sick people, all sick people. that were taken with divers diseases uh -huh. and torments uh -huh. and those which were possessed with devils. You hear this? That were possessed. Not only those that had diseases and torments, but those that were possessed with devils. You could be possessed. Mm -hmm. And what? And those which were lunatics. Which were lunatics. Uh-huh. And those that had the palsy. The palsy. Uh -huh. And he healed them. Now, let me just say this. I wonder why God's people had all these six, all these things. They're the people of God. Number one, they, we know the scripture says that he came to his own and his own received him not. But God told Israel from the beginning, if you obey me, I will bless your home, I will bless your life, and all these diseases will not come upon you. All these diseases and things that we see right here would not have come upon Israel unless they disobeyed God. Mm -hmm. That's why he had to cast these devils out because they were not obeying God. Amen. He promised them that. And God, know, we know that God is true to his word. Amen, amen. He would not let these things. He told them in Deuteronomy and Leviticus, these things will not come towards you. Amen. If you just obey and keep my word. Yes, but yes. if you don't, I will strike you with palsy and I will strike you with this. Amen. Consumption, I believe Yes, it is. yes. He warned them. But you know what? People don't take warnings too well. But God can show you better than he can tell you. Come on now. Israel was not supposed to be like that. Amen. Because of the hardness of their heart, they rebelled against God. See, I told you, disobedience will cause a lot of things to come up on you. Oh, y'all quiet. Towards God. Disobedience to God and playing with the devil will cause a lot of these things to come up on you. Mm -hmm. And you can't say it ain't fair because God will warn you. What you doing now? He, you mean to tell me he had to deliver all those people? Yeah. Isn't, isn't God merciful? Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. His people. And he healed all of them. God is the only one who can take away demon possession. Mm -hmm. Consumption and diseases and all that. Even though the doctors got certain things, some things, you, like I said, the doctor give you, if God, amen, wants you to have it, you're going to have it. Is that it? Yes. Matthew 12. Go to the next one. Matthew 12. 43 through 40. Some of you have, some of y'all better write some of this down. Man. Ah, I like this one. Matthews 12, 43 to 45. Matthews 12, 43 to 45. Amen. What did that say, evangelist? When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man. When an unclean spirit comes out of a man. He walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Don't you know that same spirit is trying to get in somebody else? It's trying to take control. Once that spirit get out, get out of you, somebody, it's got, it's got to go somewhere. It's got to try to find a place where he could just kick up his heels. This ain't no joke. No, it's not. This is real. Amen. Go ahead. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came out. Don't you know the and devil? The devil will come right back to where he was. Amen. How many of y'all ever went back to your old house and see, what, you know, mm -hmm. to look, just look at your old house. You know, you living in a good house now. You, you, oh, man, we're close to the, the old house. Let's go look at it. Mm -hmm. That's the way the devil do. Oh, man, look, I remember that house we were in. That, that, 
Yeah, we had a good time in that house. See? Y'all know where I'm coming from? Amen. He'll come back to you. Yes, he will. Because he's hoping he can get back in there. Yes. Oh, y'all better hear Amen. That. And now, oh, oh, come on, uh-oh. Oh, and yeah. when he has come, uh -huh. he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. You find it empty, see? You got That's why you got to keep your lamp trimmed and burning. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to keep God in your life. Because if he find it empty, he going in. Yes. You got to be filled with the spirit of God. All right now. Not with carnality. Amen. When he sees clean, oh man, it's clean. That's the way some people are. They're breaking your house and they didn't see nobody in there. Mm -hmm. And they want to get out from under the, the weather. They, they'll break in. Mm -hmm. Devil will break in. Oh man, this is empty. Right. He got it. He ain't got God no more. See. Go ahead. Amen. That was it. Oh, I'm sorry. Then he goeth and taketh with himself seven other spirits Ooh. more wicked than himself. Did, did you did you say that? Yes, sir. Say that again. <laughs> Read it loud Amen. and say it again. Then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits. Seven other spirits. More wicked than himself. More wicked. Y'all better hear me. Mm -hmm. You be worse than you were before. Yes, amen. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he come, he found it that empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh with him seven other spirits Amen. more wicked yes more wicked come on now more wicked Amen. and they entered in and what and they enter in and dwell there hey you done left it open you done left the door mm -hmm. When you give up God, you left the door open yes yes amen for the devil to come in amen you done got rid of God amen you didn't got out from God's protection Praying for me. You praying for me? Amen. Amen. You praying for me? Y'all yeah, praying for me? You don't want to be worse than what you was before. Come on. You don't even want to be worse, period. Bad, period. Go ahead. And the and the last state of that man is worse than the first. The last state of that man is worse than what he was before he came out. Amen. Amen. Is that scary or what? That don't mean you have to walk around. Serious. Right. Just be yourself. Amen. Just be saved. Amen. Just hang on. That's it. That's it. Just Amen. rebuke the devil. Yes, Lord. Keep on doing what you're doing as long as what you're doing is right. Come on now. Keep on seeking God. Yes. Keep on praying. Oh, Consecrate goodness. yourself before yes, God. Jesus. Get rid of idleness and come on now. Come on. Come been, on. Come on now. Get away from Amen. that stuff. Yes. Amen. Amen. For the devil is waiting. Yes, he is. He's waiting on yes, that. He's he waiting is. on that body to be come clean. Come on now. He's Amen. sitting back. Don't you know the devil got patience? Yes, he does. Oh, I'll get them. They close now. I'll get them. Hey, it's empty. He will command his devils to take control. And the man's first, man, he wasn't like that when he, before he got saved. He wasn't like that. Now look at him. He's worse. Whew, that's why I got to stay saved. For to whom much is given, much is required. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching like that. You don't know what God come will do to me on, if I, on, I come, come on, on now. Because he's going to make sure I don't get back. All right. That's why I got to stay with God. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep myself before God. Because I know what the devil can do. Yes, yes, yes. Did we finish that? Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. It'll be also even in these days and times. Amen. Wicked generation. This is a wicked generation. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
So shall it be. It ain't going to just stop here. It's going to move on from generation yes, to generation. Yes, and the Bible said men will wax what? Worse, worse and, and worse. worse. It ain't going to get any better. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Can I go to another one? Yes. Matthew 17, 14 through 20. Matthew 17. Oh, I, I, could, I could teach you a little bit. I could preach and teach you a little bit. Come on. Matthew 17, 14 through 20. What did that say? And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic Did you hear that? and sore vexed. He wanted, he wanted to find help for his son. Mm -hmm. Amen. He went to Jesus. Yes. I need you to help me with my son. He too had a lunatic spirit and needed deliverance. Go ahead. For oft times he falleth into the fire uh -oh. and oft into the water. Did you hear that? And all times. The devil was doing that. Mm -hmm. He didn't have of control. He would fall up into the fire. And often into the water. You know why the devil, the devil was trying to kill him? Mm -hmm. The devil tried to kill you. Come on now. He wants to kill you. Don't let him kill you. Mm -hmm. You better take what I'm saying serious. Amen. <laughs> I know what Bishop said, but you know what? Who believe all that? I do. Amen. What if some don't believe? Would that make the faith of God a none effect? God forbid. God forbid. Amen. Let every man be a lie and God's word be what? Be true. These things that are written for time was written for our learning. So we will be caught up in all this stuff. Amen. So we will be filled with none of this stuff. Amen. So we will have to have the devil cast out of us. Come on now. Go ahead. And I brought him to thy disciples, uh -huh. and they could not cure him. Uh -huh. Then Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil. Jesus. And he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. That very hour. No telling how long he was like that. Amen. But eventually when God, when Jesus got a hold to him and laid there, he was delivered. Amen. Amen. Let Amen. me just tell y'all something. Just because you saved and sanctified and got the power of God, don't mean his spirit's going to come out. All right. All right, come on. And it don't mean you don't have any power. Because God knows who he want to work through and work with. And some people want to show that they got power. That's the wrong motive. Amen. I want people to know that I got, I got the anointing and I got the power. I have seen people lay hands on people that were possessed. And they said, come out, devil. And they said, I ain't coming out. He kept on saying, come out in the name of Jesus. And the devil said, I ain't coming out. I love where I'm at. He said, come on out, devil. The devil said, I'm not coming out. He said, stay there then. He didn't have the power. He didn't have the anointing. Come on. I ain't trying to show nobody nothing. Because I want God to use me the way he want to use Amen. me. Not to be seen or heard Amen. or say, being said. That brother over there cast out. Ain't nothing wrong with somebody saying that. Mm -hmm. But still, I'm not looking for that kind of praise. Because God is going to get the glory. Yes. God is going to get the praise. Come on now. Amen. You looking for the praise and the glory and letting the people know that you trying to make people know you got it. Wrong motive. Amen. And then sometimes it might not be like that, but God might not want to use you for that. Oh, y'all better come on now. That's right. God might want to use somebody else. Well, I got the anointing. How come God didn't use me? Because he wanted to use somebody else. Mm -hmm. Mm 
How many of y'all laid hands on people for, and they were just sick? Mm-hmm. And they didn't get healed. Right. But Sister Sarso came along and said, in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And they were healed. Absolutely. That's who God wanted to use. Right. Amen. Don't Amen. get mad and upset. Right. I did the same thing. Right. Amen. Whoever God used, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Am I right about it? Amen. I ain't trying to make a name for myself. Right. Right. Not at all. Amen. I give all glory and honor to God. Don't you know God knows how to make a name for you? Let me see. I'm going to do one more. Then This is just part one. Did we finish that evangelist? Mm -mm. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. Because of your unbelief. When you start messing around with lunatic devils and stuff like that, you got to believe that God is going to do it. Right. Unbelief will not do it. Amen. Well, I'm going to do it, but I don't know whether God's going to do it. No, go mm-hmm. sit down. <laughs> go sit down. Amen. And let somebody else do it that believe. Amen. That's what he told him in the beginning. Oh, ye a little faith. How long? God had to teach them too. We're still being taught. And we can't, like I said, we can't be so what is it, what, excited about laying hands on folks and God didn't tell you. Okay? Make sure you be led by God, by the Spirit of God. But sometimes, sometimes I ain't going to say it's the devil, sometimes flesh will feel that option. I kind of pray for everybody. But did God tell you to do that? I mean, really tell you. Mm-hmm. But I've heard somebody tell me one time, say, nothing wrong with praying. The devil ain't going to tell you to pray. But sometimes when you do pray, sometimes things ain't going to happen. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to be honest with you. And you saved too. Sanctified. Baptized with the Holy Ghost. Huh? Amen. But God uses who he wants to yes, use. Yes, he does. Well, you'll get upset with God. Come on. I got the power. I consecrate myself. Mm-hmm. I fast and I pray. See, see, you got the wrong attitude. Mm-hmm. You got the wrong attitude. God knows that. Yes, he does. Well, let me use this brother. Let me use this sister that you might not have thought that can that can <laughs> cast devils Come out. Come on now. Come on. Child, guess who? And let me just use her name. Child. Guess who cast the devil out? Sister T. Oh, my God. Really? Don't give me time. God can't use her. Hey, come on. Amen. People be so. Who would have thunk it? That's what they used to say years ago. Who would have thunk it? But God uses who he wanted. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He uses a willing vessel. Yes. A clean yes. vessel. Amen. Not carnality. Mm-hmm. Full of carnality. Come, come on now. I'm telling y'all. Can, 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 can we, can we, uh, let me see. Let me see. Luke 4.33. We're going to jump down to Luke and then we're going to. That's all right. Luke 4.33-36. Luke 4.33-36. Oh, I got so many verses here where people have been. Demonic Mm -hmm. spirits. This is no joke. That's why I got these scriptures. These are no jokes because I'm proving it by the word. And they had to be delivered. Luke 4, 33 to 36. No, 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 no. I know which one I want. I want to use that web, web. Peter cast out devils, and sometimes somebody tried to, yeah, Acts 19, I believe that is. Mm -hmm. Acts 19, I want to read that one. I want to read that one. Acts 19, 11 through 19. Acts 11, 
I mean, Acts 19, 11 through 19. I want you to see something here. Mm -hmm. If God didn't give you to do that, you ain't got God's spirit in you. You, you can't do what other people do. That's right. And I'm going to show you this in this scripture. Go ahead. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. By the hands of Paul. Mm -hmm. He wrought special, special miracles. miracles. That's what God did for Paul. Yes, yes. Did you hear that? Amen. Not that God is of respect the person. Because Paul was the type of person before he became Paul. I believe it is. Mm -hmm. Amen. He was killing folks. Yes, yes. He was killing the saints. Amen. God amen. had to knock him off his horse. All right. Blind him before he could see that he was kicking against God. Mm -hmm. When he came down to reality, he gave God his life. Amen. And he had been working for God ever since then. Come on in. So God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. Uh-huh. So that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them. And from his body brought unto the sick handkerchiefs. They used handkerchiefs and aprons back then and put them on the people. That's faith. Come on. Believing in faith. Yeah. Because it wasn't actually just the handkerchief. Right. It ain't got nothing to do with the handkerchief. But it's having the faith to know that God, amen, is able to deliver you. Yes, Lord. And you're going to put this in on you in faith. Yes, yes. Oh, y'all better hear me. Amen, amen. Come Am on. Am I teaching that right? Go ahead. Then certain of the vagabond Jews. Some of the vagabond Jews. Exorcists. Ex Did y'all hear this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Am I reading this right? Come on. Then certain of the vagabond Jews and exorcists. Uh -huh. took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits uh -huh. the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, What? We oh, adjure wait you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I could do this. You could do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, vagabond Jew. Ain't got no power. Exorcist. Yes. Ain't got no spirit of God in them, period. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. We I'm adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preached. We adjure you. Look, they're going to command. Yes. By Jesus, whom Paul preached. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, mm -hmm. a Jew. A Jew. And chief of the priests, uh -huh. which did so. Which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said. Oh, oh I told you the devil know who you are. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Go ahead. Jesus, I know. Jesus. God and the devil know whether you're real. Yes, amen. He know whether you say. He know whether you got power. Amen. He know whether you anointed. Come on. Come on now. You can't make your faith, you can't make yourself equal with everybody else. Mm -mm, mm -mm. If Paul did it, I could do it too. See? Let me show you something. Go ahead. Jesus, I know. Jesus, and I Paul, know. I know. Uh -huh. But who are ye? Who are you? The Amen. devil will stand up against you. Man, who are you? He just came out the tavern the other day. What you talking about? You just got through cursing somebody out. You just got through being carnal. You, you ain't even prayerful. The devil knows all that. Yes, he does. Well, okay. He ain't going to stop you. Say, okay, come on. See if you can handle it. Go ahead. And the man in whom the evil spirit was. Say that again. And the man in whom the evil spirit was what? leaped on them. And the man that had the evil spirit leaped on them. Mm -hmm. The spirit. Uh-huh. And overcame them. And over that same spirit he had leaped on them. When he cast them out, them seven sons, all seven of them. This is the Bible. Acts 19, 11 through 19. Go ahead. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leapt on them mm -hmm. and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. That devil had them tearing their clothes off See. of them. The devil will show you, you ain't got no power. He was showing them, they come, come try to try to show people something. 
in the name of Paul? What about saying in the name of Jesus? He's the one that's got to do it. Yes, he does. Don't do nothing in my name in the name of Thomas Willis. No, I, I ain't got that kind of power. See? Do it in the name of Jesus. Yes, amen. Because in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Come on. The devil, the devils are even subject to who? God, to Jesus. Amen. And he can be subject to you too. Yes. If you got the spirit of God in Come you. Come on. They said, I think who was that that said when they went out to preach the disciples and they came back with a report. He said, did you do all right? Let me paraphrase it. Say, yeah, we did fine. Even the devils were subject. You know why? Because Jesus, before he left, he gave them power. Mm -hmm. He breathed on them. The breath of the Holy Ghost. That power. See, whoo, my God. God will give you power. Yes, he will. To do that kind of work. He told them, don't take nothing. Because when you go out there and do this, and do it, and they obey. Mm -hmm. When they came back, they had a good report. Even the devils were subject to us. <laughs> Through his name. Go ahead. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus. Look at that. It just spread it. Did you know what happened? Don't you know sometimes things like that gets around? Words travel. People get on the phone. Man, you know what happened to so-and-so? I saw them try to cast out the devil, and the devil jumped over. The Don't you know that can happen? Did I, did I bring that example? Mm -hmm. uh, where... Bishop, Apostle Mitchell told us, told the saints, rather. I don't, it might have been before my time, but he testified of it. He said one day somebody came in and they were possessed. And he was getting ready to go down and pray for them. And before he went down to pray for them, he told everybody to be prayerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be serious. This is something that we shouldn't play with. Mm -hmm. He warned them. But there was a few ladies, or maybe one lady. No, it was mm -hmm. one lady mm -hmm. that was there mm -hmm. that was carnal. Mm -hmm. He just used it like that. See, the devil knows. And what he did, he laid hands on that person. And he rebuked the enemy. And that devil came out. But you know where the devil went? Right to that person that was carrying. Mm -hmm. In the church. Amen. Amen. In the church. Amen. And he had to cast the devil out of her. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's why he used to always tell us, don't sit up here playing. Right. Amen. Keep your mind on God. Yes. Keep your mind focused on God. This is serious. Because the devil can get off into you. Man, I was, and look, I was, whenever he wanted to cast me, I mean, I was like, oh, God. Because I didn't want that spirit in me. Amen. Then we just hear something. He go out to dry places. Yes, yes, amen. And if it's clean, he'll what? He comes back. He comes back. He'll go into you because you caught him. Disobedient. Jumped in Come on now. And they had to cast the devil out of her. You don't want that to happen to you. No, no. When you see somebody getting ready to lay hands on somebody that's got demons and stuff like that, you better pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Don't get up and walk out. Amen, amen, amen. Some people say, oh, I want the devil. See, you got to be sure of your mm -hmm. salvation. If you're sure of your salvation, you yes. ain't got to walk out and scared that the devil going to jump on you. Yes. You just got to make sure you're living the life. Amen. So when you can help cast the devil out. Come on. Y'all know what I mean by help? Amen. That means pray amen. along with the preacher. Right, right. Amen. Rebuke the devil along with the preacher. Yes, amen. People are so scared. They run out. Ooh, I don't want to be around there. Cause... But the fearful and the unbelieving, that means you be, need to be more mature in God. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Amen. And sometimes I believe that sometimes people are not too sure about their salvation. Oh, come on come with on me, somebody. 
you got to be sure about your salvation. Amen. You got to know that you 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 know that you're saved. Amen. And you're not Amen. carnal minded. That's right. When you got your mind set on the world and the things of the world, you're carnal. And I'm, talk I'm talking about sinful things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can have your mind on good things of the world, but you still can't let be over indulged in it. Right. It Amen. keep you from being what? Faithful to God. Right. In your word and stuff. Amen. You're always making excuses not to, not to pray. Come on. Not to get in your word. That's important. Amen? Amen. This is just part of it. Don't play with God. If you're going to serve God, serve him. Be real. Be sincere. Amen? Mm -hmm. And stay with God. If you in God, stay with God. I mean, stay with him because your life depends upon it. Amen. You don't know what you're going to get when you get out there in that world. You can see. And you say, why did God allow that? You know what? God warns you first. Yes, he does. He don't just let things just. He warns you. Just like he warned Israel. He warned them. I will put these things on. And that doesn't mean that, that means he allow it to happen. Mm -hmm. But God is a healer. Yes, he is. He's a provider. Yes, he is. But he told them, I will curse you. Mm -hmm. He said, I will curse amen, you. Amen, amen, amen. Myself. And it ain't no witchcraft neither. Mm. God bless you. Glory to God. Give God a victory and praise. Thank you, I hope you take heed to this word. Take heed to this word. It's wicked out there, y'all. Don't take the chance of being unprotected by God. Amen? God can keep you if you want to be kept. Amen? Amen? Oh, gracious Father, we thank you today. We thank you for your word. And your word goes out and accomplishes what it will. And it will not return back void. Because it's your will that you warn the people, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Those that are playing church, oh God. Those that are in and out of church, oh God. Them that don't even want to be part of the salvation, oh God. Oh God, is showing them how open they can be, oh God, when it comes down to sin and being possessed by devils and demons, oh God. And the things that they need, oh God, to not be familiar with God and not to be associated with God. Witchcraft, oh God, and suit sand and all that sort of stuff, all that, oh God, that, 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 that is demonic. In the name of Jesus, God. Bless right now, God. Let your, let your word take control in their minds, oh God. Oh God, in the name of, stir it up, God. In their heart and in their mind, God. Let them realize how unprotected they are in sin. In sin. But you are a deliverer. You are a heart fixer. You are a mind regulator. God, we thank you for the word. You were warning somebody. Somebody needs this, God. Somebody. So they can have a way of an escape. In Jesus' name. And we're going to give you the glory. We're going to give you the honor. And we're going to give you the praise. In Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Give God a picture of him. Oh, my brother.